Fortunato. Fortunato felt a drag in the room as he finished his comedy set. The fortunate one, the jester, usually got laughs from the otherwise heavy dudes he had gotten to know so well. Since their business, business was extortion and murder, they struggled with job-related guilt. Today, they wore suits as if they were at a funeral. They were sitting around in an upscale lounge called The Vault. The mob comic worked, worked in some jokes about funerals, dead people, and a dead audience. They laughed almost gently, as if to say, remarkable how funny that is. That's when he knew. The Vault, hmm. Fortunato had a vault of his own, where he kept his meanest, most insulting jokes. He told them, and they got the best laughs of the day, though each punchline was a gut punch to someone in the room. Ed walked over and got behind him, as he told one about Ed himself. Fortunato heard Ed taking something out of his coat pocket. Halfway through the joke, he felt cold metal on the back of his neck. The boss had his hand up, stopping Ed, because he wanted to hear the punchline, though Ed was squirming. Fortunato said, wait for it, wait for it. Then he got the punchline in, just as the silencer barked quietly. Hey, nice response. Some clapping out there. Good for a comic's heart, which wasn't otherwise working so well. The boss said, Ed, you're dead. He whacked you. Hey, everybody, let's let Fortunato tell the rest of the story as only he can. So I got up. Yeah, don't give me that look. I gave the stupids a wave and said, I'm done here. So long, you sad clowns. They didn't hear, of course, but who needed them? I walked out the door feeling really kind of relieved. It was a sunny day. As I often do, I struck up a conversation with a nice lady who happened to be happened to come walking along the sidewalk. And I told her a couple of jokes, which put her at ease and broke the ice as we continued on our way. Seeing I was a funny man, she mentioned a com comedy club we'd be passing in another couple of blocks. And she, and she said, I really ought to check it out. I said, well, it's got to be telling jokes to murderers. So yeah, I'll go. If you'll allow me to buy you a drink. She took my arm, and so here we are. Place is wild, isn't it? Great audience. I love the costumes. Look at the, click, the kid. Ten-year-old boy in, in a white toga sitting on the floor putting together a Roman basilica with inch-square stone cubes, real stone. Your angel outfit is cool, too. Look at the TV over the bar. It's showing, it, showing hidden cam footage of the vault. There's the boss, Ed, and the others having a final quiet laugh as they sit around a table, sipping fat little glasses of amontillado. In the background, you see the new guy, the drudge, rolling a dead body in a rug and trying to lift it, but it flops out, and that's when he finds the wire under the stiff shirt. Boss! Boss! Boom! There goes the door crash crashing in. It's the feds. About time, you monkeys. If I wasn't enjoying this gig so much, I might have liked the witness protection holiday you were going to give me. My advice to comics? Don't be afraid of the that threshold. You know the one I mean.